Yeah, we we snuck in on the last day with a with a tie. We forced overtime against Toronto to get in. With that tie, yeah. with that point, we were able to that secured a playoff spot. But it was the last day, last game. I remember that for sure. I remember that series. We were just trying to find our game and trying to find a way. Their power play was extremely dangerous. So I remember a lot of our efforts were trying to shut down their power play. I remember coming away from meetings and having side meetings. Plucky, I'm sure you did too. Yeah, yeah. As part of it, having side meetings of trying to figure out the penalty kill situation because they were so dangerous on the power play. Yeah, it was funny because I remember we always, like even, you know, five, six years later, we always look at that series because they always had the same power play like years after, right? And we always kind of look at the series and we said, well, the, the way we played against, against them in the playoffs in 2010, we played so well. And I remember, as I mentioned before, Georgie with, uh, with Skilzy around the net, it was unbelievable how, how we were on the same page as a penalty killing unit. We took advantage of momentum, I think, in those, especially this series. Uh, where we had spurts where we were really good, and then other spurts we were able to hold them off. Cannon's moving and holds and threw it on the Cavalieri. He scores! Oh, it's crazy. Uh, it, I remember that. So that was my first year in Montreal, and that was like after every win, whether we were at home or on the road, like it was just insane. Like uh, in the city, the buzz in the city. Uh, everything. I, I think it goes to a whole new level and until you experience it, like as a, you know, Canadian, as a Hab, I, I don't think you really understand what an unreal atmosphere that is. Uh, you know, coming from New Jersey, which wasn't known for its atmosphere and then to be in an atmosphere like that, uh, it's just completely different and home ice advantage is a huge huge thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Adrian, no, it's really hard to say which one was better. I mean, all of them are great and just all I can say is every time I watch it, like every time I see clips like this, I just have, I still have a chills. Like I still have those, you know, those fireflies kind of going into the game and, and hearing hearing the fans from the tunnel that you go in it's you can you can compare it's 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 quite experience and and something you want to you want to you want to have as a hockey player you know i played in toronto a little bit and uh i mean i don't know if i can say it but it's hard to compare <laughs> That, that whole playoffs, I don't think we felt pressure. We were just able to go and play. And so even in a game seven, anything can happen, right? Like it's up in the air and uh, we had just come back from three to one. So you lose, you know, they're expected to win. It's no big deal. Uh, so our pressure points were different than theirs. Uh, and I, we started this game hot. I think we went up, if my memory is correct, we went up like three, four, nothing. Uh, and then they battled back a little bit, but we closed it out uh, like towards the end. So I, we came out in the first period and I think we scored three or four goals. Uh, so we got a hold of the game real quick. Scott Gomez dealt it in. Vanesta cross and a goal by Gianta on the pass by Camilleri. Power play goal, three goal lead for Montreal. Those, those two game sevens winning in Wash and Pitt beating, you know, those two teams with the two most talented players in the world, especially at that time when they were younger and, and, and fresh and everything. It was it was really special and the way we did it was 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 unforgettable for sure. And then another run obviously which didn't you know finish finish the same way but it was a great run as well and, and those times when as Gio mentioned, same thing walking out of the tunnel and hearing the fans and, and the whole all city is into it and you, you're not gonna live it anywhere else i don't think there's a city better than montreal you know obviously they have pricey that's a that's a good start with pricey right there and uh you know just kind of be in their face i mean all you can do i mean you know being tough to play against those usual kind of cliches but it was so it was so right in that series that we played we were, we were tough and we you know they had the chances they're the best players in the world but but you know, with, with a little bit, little bit of luck and a little bit of everything going right, right away, 
then you know they they can they can stop them for sure.